Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Casey and today I'm going to introduce you to the new metal pack for Rocksmith with three brand new metal tones that hopefully will shake things up a little bit and make things a little bit more interesting. Also, it comes with some effects pedals, which we will cover. Uh, let's get started, shall we? So the first metal pack tone is called Effect Showcase. Now this bad boy right here is pretty nice. For the first tone, I have to say it's pretty awesome and uh, it has a little bit of a twisted little sound to it as I will give a demonstration right now. Alright, so as you can see, that is a really awesome tone and I think out of the three that I will show you today, this actually is going to be my favorite. Not necessarily the best, but maybe it's my favorite. So let's go take a look at the next tone, shall we? All right, so the second tone is called Grind USA. And here is a little sample of this. <laughs> Alright, so I think the name of this tone really says it all. Grind USA indeed. Alright, let's check out the next tone. Alright, so this last tone is called Cavernous Lead. Now, this does have a cavern type sound to it for those deep solos, but it also has a really sick sound. Alright, so check it out. Alright, so those are the three tones that you have, and I hope you enjoyed those. That last one, I kind of put up something a little bit special for you guys in there. Alright, so now we're going to go take a look at the effects pedals and the amp that comes with the new pack. Alright guys, so this tone that I have here is called Metal Pack Basic. Now, it only has the amp and the cabinet. All right, so I'm going to go in here and customize and show you guys what they included in this little tone designer pack. All right, so as you can see, this is the new little uh, amp head is what they actually call it. So let's go into settings. You have gain and we'll rock this bad boy all the way up and I'm going to see what this sounds like. Pretty cool. I love it. That actually has a really cool sound. Uh, really good low mid is even good. And I love the fact that they added presence on this uh, particular amp. And voicing is also UK to US. It's a little subtle, but it's there. I like that. It's really, really cool. Um, I like that they added that. I think I had US on my other, do uh, my other tune that I had designed. So let's go on to the next thing, which is the cabinet. This is, uh, I forget what it's actually called. Oh, yes. I guess it's the Rocksmith Metal Pack 12, uh, 4x12. And it is, it's awesome. I think they said it is kind of like um, comparable to, what is this one right here? The Soprano. All right, now let's hear what it sounds like. You know, it's it's got like this different kind of edge to it, and I know it has a lower bottom. Now, it, it, I think either way, they both sound amazing. All right, so of course, I'm gonna go through the positions real quick. That's cone. Edge. Microphone. Dynamic. 
I'm gonna mix it up really quick, put a dynamic mic on it. All right, so there is that. Now that you guys have seen the amp, let's go and continue editing. And let's take a look at the delay pedal they included. And I apologize if you guys hear a lot of background. I know. Uh, I unlocked a lot of pedals. And I finally hit Rocksmith level. Like, Rocksmith is what it's called. Uh, it's actually pretty cool. Um, 20 million points uh, since the game has been out, man. That's pretty awesome. So, here it is, Caverb. All right, so let's take a look at what we have here. All right, so we can adjust the size from big to small, which if you're a girl, you'll most likely take big because that's just how girls are. Actually, I think it's more like the width. All right, so here's the decay. And if you guys don't under, really understand decay, decay is how, it, how fast it cuts off, you know? So we have 100, let's see here. As you can see, it takes forever to get rid of the decay. I don't know. For some reason, I sometimes find that like really backwards. All right. So here is it at zero. See, very short. All right. And we're going to leave it real quick. Early reflection. I don't know. Don't ask me. I think it's like an offset. And uh, if you put it past 50, I have no idea. Uh, don't ask me. Here's the tone. Pretty awesome stuff. I actually might use this K-verb to make it more of a... give it some depth. And of course your mix. It's pretty awesome. Let's change this pedal. And let's look at the distortion that they added. So this is called Sick Sick Sick. And by the way, I didn't change the amp settings other than put it to like 100% gain in U uh, US. So you're hearing the default sounds. And I apologize that this video is kind of long. Hope you guys don't mind. And I hope you guys are interested in this. And uh, we're going to check this out really quick. Gain is at 66. You also have a boost and distortion. You guys really need to go and check this out. And if you don't have it, I will do it for you. Um... <laughs> this is so cool. I already know that you guys are going to come up with some, like, really cool idea for a song on this one. Alright, and, uh, I think the last one might be in here too, it's called Scoop. No, I guess not. No. Alright, here it is, Scooped. So, this is actually pretty cool too. This is a EQ, um, and it has, I guess, low, mid, and high. This just pretty much shifts the weight. You could think of music and tone uh, as having weight to it. This just pretty much shifts things around. It's really cool. It sounds really good. And it also gives a little bit more balance to the fact that if you go, let me go here. Um, if you take a look at the other filters for, like, say, EQ 6 and 7, they, this sounds way too, like, midi, like, area, and this sounds kind of like it has too much, like, bass and too much treble. Don't ask me. I have no idea why they decided to do that. I mean, I, I know that you can um, uh, do the, uh, you know, obvious thing by, uh, you know, changing around the EQ, but eh, it's kind of weird how they, they set it up. And I believe that is it that came in the pack. But uh, yeah, guys, so that is the tone designer and I'm going to go real quick and set up a tone 
and get it really, really rocking real quick so that you guys can maybe copy it if you want it. And I'll be right back. All right, guys. So I made a new tone called Metallica, and it's mainly based off of the Search and Destroy song because it has this kind of classic metal tone to it but is more Americanized than British because in the 80s, a lot of people had this UK British like metal wave tone. So I made this kind of similar, but more Americanized. Now I only use the effects to use, so check it out. And then after I uh, do a little playing, I will show you how I made it. <laughs> All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. I had fun doing that, and I hope I didn't suck. Now, I will show you actually how I made that sound. It's not the best for Metallica, but uh, for only using these particular um, pedals, it's not too bad, actually. So go to Customize Tone. As you can see, I'm using the amp head that they, comes with the metal pack. The gain is set for 100. The low is actually at 85. The mid is at zero and the high is at 100. Now, a little secret about mid-tones. If you have an amp, I, I challenge you to do low at 100, high at 100, and turn your mid all the way down, and then turn your gain all the way up. That is an awesome sound sometimes, and this works on a lot of different amps in real life, too. Um, and the presence, I'm gonna go ahead and say here, is at 77, and the voicing is the US. Now go on to the next pedal. I use loop pedal three is the scooped and I believe you can find that in the modern modulation pedals. Uh, if not, it's in the um, it's like right next to where you find EQ six and EQ seven, whichever those are. Now the low is set for 2.5 mid is negative two mid frequency is 66 high is two. And I didn't really mess with that very much. Of course, the cabinet is the tone designer metal pack cabinet that comes stock with it. Uh, ribbon mic, edge, usually do that combination all the time, always. All right, so the last thing I use to get it really thick, got that 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 uh, that tone to it. Uh, size is zero, decay is zero, early reflections, early reflections, excuse me. I have a tongue twist right now. Is 44, tone is at 65, and mix is at 50. And I have no other pedals. And man, yeah. So I hope you enjoy this. I will be making more tones if you guys have a request for any particular tones for a song, for any song in the game that, you know, just anything, any style, if you want it for a solo, for a particular song, anything like that. Or if you just want to use your, uh, use this game, which I've done before, to play long. Uh, with maybe some music at your house or wherever you're doing. It's pretty fun. But just let me know what you think. And if you like the video, let me know. And uh, maybe you can subscribe and uh, help me out a little bit. But thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any suggestions, let me know. And uh, that's it. Pretty much, guys. Peace out. I forgot to mention, if you guys want to know where to get this, go to where you can buy the gear at the Guitar Center downloads. And then it should say Heavy Metal gear pack and it'll tell you already what comes with it and I believe it does cost 400 Microsoft points let me check right now uh, no well it's not gonna tell me I do believe it's 400 Microsoft points so make sure you go and get it check it out let me know what you think if you think this is actually a good pack or not and uh, yeah guys peace out